Hey guys, today we're going to be playing through Lepanto, where we have to build a wonder while being attacked by the Turks, and the challenge is going to be to prevent every single Turkish transport from landing. We can't let any of them land. The steady splashing of oars of 200 ships striking the water drowns out all other sound. The most powerful fleet ever assembled by Don Juan of Austria and his allies in Venice sails under the burning light of dawn towards a final encounter with the Ottoman Turks. The Turkish army has greatly expanded its empire, adding North Africa and Mesopotamia to the Turkish holdings in Anatolia, but has finally been turned back by a staunch defense of Hungary. Undaunted, the Turks turn their attention to the Mediterranean, where they intend to break the Christian naval powers of Venice and Spain. Now, 200 road galleys and six heavy galleasses lumber into the Bay of Lepanto to meet the 270 galleys of the Turkish fleet. The ships draw up with scarcely five miles separating the distance between them. A storm of arrows darkens the sky, and the drone of splashing oars is finally drowned out by the thunder of panic. Okay, so let's see. There's hundreds of Turkish ships out there. We Presto. don't have the numbers to go on the offensive, Talar. so we should just keep their galleons and transports at bay. Construir. Cathar. Cathar. Let's see. Well, we will need galleon. That's probably the most important upgrade we can do. Uh, let's get some fishing ships, maybe. Get our docks on hotkeys and start building some more galleons. We have an idle bill. We'll need food at the start for upgrades. Oh, and you guys should be on no attack stance for me so that we do not accidentally take out some turkey or some ships when we weren't meaning to. Okay, galleon is a good upgrade. There's idle fishing ships. Oh, there's a tower. Let's take out that island. So let's bring Why these really siege weapons to the coast. The wonder so close to the shoreline. So how scenario design worked in the year 2000. Construed. Okay, so we just continue making boats, spreading them out a bit. That was another tower. I remember there being like resource islands out here we could take, I think. Oh, there you go. Galleon, take it out. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Oh, that's a big navy. Uh, get the heavy demos into those fire ships. Maybe one, a couple down here towards those cannon galleons. Yeah, get him from behind. Oh, perfect. Uh, like that. Okay. Okay, I think we fended off from that attack Presto. quite nicely. Need more wood. If cannon galleons. Cannon galleons normally aren't the type of ship you want for fighting on water. Especially not versus the Spanish, who actually get good cannon galleons that can fight. And there's something in the middle of the sea. Just got a bit, need to do a bit of micro. And avoid all the cannon shots like that. Let's fall back for a bit. Uh, bracer, yes, that'll be very important. Let's chop wood there. We have a wood upgrade. Oh, we do. That could be nice. Oh, dodge fire. Oh, look at look how fast that is. You can actually micro these things to do damage. Unlike those slow, slow ones. Okay. 
So I think what we need to do is spread our ships out so we can intercept transports wherever they come. And just have enough boats that we can hunt them down. Let's get some docks up on this side of the map too. And a lumber camp there. Anyways, how much does a heavy demo do to an elite cannon galleon? Not quite enough to sink it. We need more wood. We have lots of gold. So we have more gold income than we do wood to spend. Oh, we can do the wood upgrade now. That'll be good. Uh, no chemistry. Bombard Tower is in the spot where chemistry is supposed to be. Okay, so we'll try to protect this. The thing is, I don't know if, spanning, if the cannon galleons can sink transport ships, so we'll just kind of spread our boats out. I think we might need normal galleon for that. But it looks like their attack has been upgraded. And we probably want the ships to move faster so we can catch transport ships. It's probably our next important tech. You can also get some fish going. Nice small number of fishing ships. I wonder if we need to patrol down there. So right now my goal is just kind of to have vision of the entire map so we can see the transport ships when they come in. Maybe plug up this canal. Get all these little island passageways guarded. Have a backup there in case some ships get past. And just kind of patrol everywhere. And keep them all on defensive stance so they don't run away. Try to... And maybe we can start building the wonder now. I think we'll have if we have enough resource income we'll send a few villas to start transitioning to building the wonder. And we're Spanish, so we build the wonder more quickly than normal. Still haven't seen any Turkish transports, which maybe that's a good sign. Maybe if we don't build the wonder they don't come. I'll have to check what the triggers are. You can build us a couple fishing ships. I think we have enough boats up here that we can get the patrol going rather nicely. Oh, was that a transport ship? Transports. Don't let them land. Okay, we might have just sunk one. Um, we're kind of low on boats on this side. And I think that was a transport ship. So now we just patrol. The secret to Micro is just patrol. Uh, is Cannon Galleon even worth it when we really just need Galleons to kill the ships? As the Spanish it probably is. What's going on down here? Oh, more fire ships. Uh, everyone go for them. Fast fires might be nice. I do not think we would fare well under Turkish rule. If you tribute to us 800 gold, we will ally with you instead. They look like they're having trouble pathing to their targets. Look at how powerful those cannon galleons are. All right, um, 800 gold to the Greek village. Uh, can't quite do that yet. I should do coinage first, but oh well. There we go, 800 ah. gold. It is prudent for us to join forces against the Turks. You may mine gold from our villages Okay, I need some demos. And we will tribute you what we can spare. Let's get some more mining going on down there. Uh, we're soon not going to need much more food once we get shipwright. And I think that might be the last upgrade we need. Other than... Can okay, we'll need Cannon Galleon and Shipwright. But Shipwright, I think, is the more important one. I will also need... A fa oh, we already have Fast Fire and Heavy... Oh, we have Fast Fire and Heavy Demo already. We should make some of those. Okay, now we've kind of lost our fleet that was over here patrolling. And that, that guy's... Uh, those boats are still patrolling well. And we need more gold for Shipwright, so let's just do that. Shipwright... 
a few more vills there. We're nowhere near the pop limit, which we would like to get close to. Make a few more galleons now. Oh, yes, a tribute from them that is really useful. You guys should probably go on to food. You just need, you need just a bit more food. And how's the wonder doing? It's uh, 24%. Alright, a quarter of the way done. If I can right click that fish. Here's some more galleons. Some more fire ships. And as we'll get maybe the second line in case ships get through. Okay, transports, where are they? Where are those Turkish transports? Oh, up here. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, took care of that nice and simple. Good thing we had that back line there helping to protect. We'll put the fire ships kind of patrolling in the back. I don't know if they'll come from over here, but just to be safe, we'll have some ships patrolling there. We'll have those towers there, so we'll actually see them, at least. And cannon galleon. I think maybe it's time to start sending more vills to that wonder. Yeah, especially now that we're getting slung. We can afford to move vills off of the eco. And just a few more fast fires and mostly galleons. As we're running out of wood. And now we basically just patrol everyone while we build the wonder. There's another resource island we could try to take. If you have some cannon galleons. We could also just go down here, land, and try to conquer them. They have a high score. Hopefully they don't land down. Oh, that, that could be a problem. Let's send a few of you down here. Just in case they try to go through that part. Yeah, that's actually the better place to, to patrol. Because if they want to get into here, they would be going around that island. So we'll cut them off earlier. The wonder is complete. Now, we just need to defend it. Okay, 200 years of defending the wonder. Let's get you onto that transport ship, and we'll have you mine stone, and we can start building some more towers. Just in case. That would have been the transport we just sunk there, and there we go, there's a transport to sink. Ooh, four more transports now that we finished the wonder. Got them all. See? So let's just make a few keeps up here. Try to help prevent against landings. And we'll just dot the coast. Oh, I want. That's what you can patrol these guys now. Which is super weird, and I don't know how useful it is, but we'll try it out here. Still getting tribute, even though we don't really need it. Auto, auto farm queue, sure. Let's chop down there. You do have a nice pretty little base up here. Oh, there's some more Turkish ships. Let's get our demos involved. Let's get the rest of our fleet involved. That was a nice demo hit. A uh, bit of a fight here. Should I take out the cannon galleons you guys move up to?
This would be their chance to sneak through the transport ships. But we have more ships queued at our docks. Okay, we broke our line a bit, but we still have enough patrolling that we're completely safe. Oh, there's a few more transports zooming past, but not getting through. Okay, big fleet, let's fight. Let's see if we can draw those cannon galleons forward or get behind them. Yeah, let's try to get behind them. Oh, the transports, get the transports. Transports. Don't let them land. Okay, that was a bit of a risk, but nothing too bad. Where are those transports? This was probably one of the last waves. Oh, there they are. And I doubt they have very more transports because we're down to only 15 years. Yeah, this one was pretty simple. Just basically patrol your ships back and forth and you can go AFK, make some coffee or something, as long as you have some more queued up in the docks. And once the timer runs down this wonder by the beautiful shoreline, we'll win you the game. Oh, we could have done conscription from the castle. That would have been prudent. Oh, we can also do spies. Let's do spies and look at them. The spies first. Oh, so you can actually just do spies for really cheap because they don't have any villagers. <laughs> and look at their transports and find out where they're coming from. Yeah, that would have been nice to do earlier. <laughs> but I guess we didn't actually need it. Forgot that I had the castle there. And there we go, GG. And a fairly simple one is if you... If this somehow isn't enough golden stone for you, you can take out these towers and mine this island too. Maybe it'd be good to build some forward docks at one point. Let's see, 8 plus 5 range. So you can use your cannon galleons and play dodgeball to take out those towers and those castles. I guess the ones down here don't really matter because it's only these docks that are producing units. But you can go then take out the docks. I guess they had a few more waves they could have sent, but... All in all, once you have your navy built, it's pretty easy. The heavy Venetian galleasses broke through the Turkish lines and trampled over the smaller ships of the Turks. But there were too few of the galleasses to win the battle on their own. The Spanish and Venetians attempted to grapple and board the Turkish ships where the superior experience and weapons of the Christian sailors could be brought to bear. As the day wore on, the Turkish juggernaut began to run out of strength. Scores of Turkish galleys were dashed on the rocks, and others sank to the bottom of the bay. Less than 50 Turkish ships survived the battle. Lepanto was not the climax of the conflict between the Christians and the Turks on the Mediterranean, but it was a turning point. The Turks had difficulty rebuilding their fleet back to its former size, while the Christians continued to update their fleets with the latest technological advancements ensuring a decisive military advantage for further encounters on the high seas. So, fun fact, if you play Age of Mythology, all of the lines that Gargarensis says, or all of his poetic lines come from Lepanto. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.